Hey church, welcome to today's devotion. My name is Darren, one of the pastors at Audacious Church. Uh, you join me on Monday and um, it was Adam yesterday and today. It's back to me just talking again through the book of Jude and looking at how we build ourselves up, how you build yourself up in faith, how I build myself up in faith. Jude 1, 20, 21 says, But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in the most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. This week, we're looking at how to build ourselves up, like joining the gym and continually going so you actually get fitter and stronger. Who's been there? Join a gym, didn't keep going. I've been there several times, but joining a gym and actually keep going to build yourself up. We want to do things that continually and consistently build us up. Yesterday, we saw how knowing the word and being in the word is one way to build ourselves up. Today, let's look at another way, and that's the way of praise. Praise positions God in his rightful place, far above all things, and it positions us to receive from him. Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles 20, faces an insurmountable army. We hear it, we read it, have a read of that of that passage, and he literally doesn't know what to do. The Bible says that Jehoshaphat was told, a vast army has assembled against you. Jehoshaphat replies with, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you, God. We see God's reply in verse 15 to 17 when he says, listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, march down against them. They will be climbing up the pass of Ziz and you will find them at the end of the gorge in the desert of Jerusalem. You will not have to fight this battle. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your position, stand firm and see the deliverance of the Lord will give you Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out and face them tomorrow and the Lord will be with the, you. Verse 18 continues with Jehoshaphat bowed down with his face to the ground and all the people of Judah and Jerusalem fell down in worship before the Lord. Stop. Let's stop here for a moment because because before this, in verses 5 and 6, we see Jehoshaphat praising. It says, Then Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly of the lot of Judah and Jerusalem at the temple of the Lord and in the front of the new courtyard and said, Lord, the God of our ancestors, are you not the God who is in heaven? You rule over kingdoms and nations. Power and might are in your hand and no one can stand against you. It was Jehoshaphat's praise. Then we read in verses 21 to 22, after consulting the people, Jeho Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord, to sing praise and praise him for the splendor of his holiness. And as they went out at the head of the army saying, give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. As they began to sing their praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Zair who were invading Judah and they were defeated. The Lord set ambushes. I believe that when you praise, when we praise, the Lord sets ambushes. He fights on our behalf, ambushes against sickness, against illness, against um, relationship problems, ambushes in your life for you as the Lord fights for you. As they began to praise, the passage says, as they began to praise, wow, praise is your breakthrough and the devil knows the power of your praise. He hates your praise. He can fight you, but has already lost to the one who fights for you. Praise says, devil, don't talk to me. Talk to the one who's defeated you and crushed your head. Judah 24, 25 adds this powerful statement of faith to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy to the only God our Saviour be glory, majesty, power and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages now and forevermore. Amen. Let's make our lives a note of praise so that in all and in every circumstance we remember the power of praise the authority it has and the breakthrough it brings love you church and see you tomorrow for the continuation of a look through jude have a great rest of your day